All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with corrupt Fanny Willis, and here she goes again, playing the race card. Remember, Judge McAfee said that he was upset with her when she went to that church and played the race card, tried to call Donald Trump racist, tried to call uh, Ashley Merchant them, Steve said I was just trying to accuse all of them of being racist and they coming after the black man and the black woman and he did not like that. And then look at this right here. She goes to a woman event and pulls the race card again. She does it again and remember, he said he didn't, uh, he was thinking about putting a gag order on her and this is the second time Fanny Willis then came out and used this race card. She just did it again in a recent interview, you know what I'm saying, with CNN. And so now here she go again. So I got two articles that I would like to share with y'all because it came across my timeline and I had to share this with y'all. And we're going to see if Judge McAfee is going to do anything about this crap. Because at this point, now it seems like he just going along with her and just letting her do whatever she want because she seemed unbothered she seemed like she ain't scared you know what i'm saying because he's just letting her get away with this crap so let's go ahead and jump into the first article right here as y'all can see the headline after judges scolding for playing race card fanny willis says she'll talk about it anyway and then they said that fanny willis appeared to reference judge scott McAfee's order during a speech friday at a woman's event so let's jump straight into it. In battle, Fulton County, Georgia, District Attorney Fannie Willis in a speech Friday seemed to defy a judge's recent warning to not play the race card, insisting she'll talk about race anyway. During her remark at the South Fulton Women of the Shields Award, Willis said that it's hard out here always having to prove yourself two and three times. Recently, they tell me they don't like me to talk about race. Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway, she remarked. So at this point, she don't give two, you know what, about what Judge McAfee says. She feel like she run things. She feel like she can do whatever she want. Ever since Judge McAfee let this woman stay on the case when she should have been disqualified, he had all the resources, he had all the information to prove that this woman lied under oath. That should have been the main reason she should have been gone, because she lied under oath. And yet, she remains on the case. And this is just ridiculous. Remember, the judge split the baby because he wanted nothing to do with this case, and he tried to send it up to the appeals court, Supreme Court. He just tried to get it out of his hands because he wants to be reelected. Now, the next part is say, Willis' comments seem to be in reference to the recent order by Judge Scott McAfee in which he said that he racially said that her racially charged rhetoric of playing the race card was legally improper. And then they're going to say that McAfee comments were in his decision that said Willis could stay on the 2020 election interference case against former President Donald Trump if she removed special counsel Nathan Wade, with whom she was accused of having an improper affair. Willis did not immediately respond to Fox News digital request for comment. In his order, McAfee separately took issue with a speech made by Willis at an Atlanta church in January of this year where she claimed she and Wade were being scrutinized because of their race. While Willis later claimed not to be referring to the defendants and her accusations of racism, McAfee warned that such a distinction was not clear. We all know for a fact that she was talking about Ashley Merchant them. We all know that. This is the crap that she's trying to get away with. Act like we all stupid or something. We all knew who she was talking about. They coming after us. They coming after the black man. Y'all heard what Steve said. I said, she's, they coming after the black man because he's a black. They had nothing to do with his skin color. Nathan Wade could have been white. He still would have been in trouble because of what he did. Y'all using taxpayer dollars. You're going on these trips. You lied about your relationship. Come to find out, y'all been threatening Terrence Bradley. Didn't want him to say anything. Is That's what that right there had something to do with. But what did she do? She just tried to just say, forget about all that. They coming after the man because he's black. They coming after me because I'm a black woman. That's the thing that she did. Playing the race card, and yet she's doing it again. And we're going to see if Judge McAfee is going to do something about this crap. We're going to see. Because at this point, like I've mentioned before, I feel like He's kind of in on this crap because, like I said, he donated to her campaign. His wife donated to her campaign. 
he used to work for. So it's like it's just all those ties right there. It's like it just, something is not right. I don't know why they even let him on this case if he used to work for this woman. Because obviously he ain't going to keep it fair. He ain't going to call it down the middle because the woman should have been gone. Even people on the left that don't like Donald Trump even knew that she should have been gone. Then let's get back to it. It said that in this public and televised comments, the district attorney complained that a Fulton County commissioner and so many others questioned her decision to hire S.A.D.A. Wade when referring to her detractors throughout the speech. She frequently uh, utilized the plural they the state argues the speech was not aimed at any of the defendants in the case. Maybe so, but maybe not. There realized the danger of public comment by a prosecuting attorney McAfee wrote. The judge found that Willis referenced to so many others in her speech at the church left ambiguous who she was accusing of racial motivations coming dangerously close to compromising the case. We all know that this one. See, th 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 I mean. Her attorneys, them, they know good well that she was talking about Ashley Merchant them. They know that for a fact because they was going after her. So obviously, you know who she's talking about. But yet, they just sit up there and just lied. This is what they did, just lied. And you, Judge McAfee just sit up there and just let them do it. Let them do it. No pushback or nothing. Just let them do it. Then say that truth is there are some challenges that come with being black. Here she go again. Using a race car. There are some challenges that come with being black. This is what I'm talking about. This is what this woman keep doing. It got nothing to do with black. It got something to do with your actions, what you did. You lied. You stole taxpayers dollars. You went on these trips. That's what you did. That has nothing to do with you being black. But <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's do it again. Truth is, there's some challenges that come with being black. And I see so much greatness in this city that has so many great African-American leaders. And I appreciate all of the sacrifice that you all have had to make to be in these positions. Willie said to the crowd on Friday. So now at this point, she's just basically just trying to pander. She's basically trying to pander to people because she know re-election coming up. She wants to be a re-elected. Uh, re you know what I'm saying? And uh, Judge McAfee wants to be reelected. So there she go with this pandering crap. But it did say that the event hosted by the South Fulton Police Department was held to shine a spotlight on 12 extraordinary women who have made remarkable contributions to law enforcement and community impact. Willis thanks South Fulton Police Department Chief Keith Meadows for having the intelligence to create an event like this where we recognize that you have gone through a little more to serve. But like I said, she's doing this pandering crap, trying to get people to fall for her crap, trying to get people to vote for her, make it seem like she ain't doing nothing wrong. It is just ridiculous. But see, we're going to call this crap out because we're not going to let her get away with this. Now, let's get straight to it, y'all. Look at the next article by Newsweek. Look at the headline. Fannie Willis talks about race in new speech despite Judge McAfee's rebuke. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, let's go ahead and jump to it so y'all can see about this one. Fulton County District Attorney Fully with uh, Fannie Willis spoke about race in a speech on Friday, seemingly in response to part of Judge McAfee's recent order that said that she could remain on Donald Trump's Georgia election interference case. Last year, Willis charged the former president and 18 others for efforts to allegedly overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia, which Trump claimed was stolen from him despite a lack of evidence. Her investigation focused on Trump's phone call to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, in which he allegedly asked him to find enough votes to tilt the election in his favor against Joe Biden and the alleged plot to submit a false slate of pro-Trump electors to the Electoral College. Trump has pleaded not guilty to all charges, maintaining his innocence. Then, say, however, the case was halted after attorneys representing one of Trump's co-defendants raised concerns about the relationship between Willis and the lead prosecutor on the case, Nathan Wade. Willis then found herself at the center of potential ethics violations. Let me see. Yeah. Potential ethics violation related to the alleged affair. Willis previously rejected the accusation and said during a speech in January at an Atlanta church that her critics was playing the race cards, given that they had singled out Wade who is black. See, this is what she did. Now, she's going to try to say that they singled out Wade because he was black, which his skin color had nothing to do with it. 
It was what he was doing. Remember, they lied. Remember, Fannie Willem lied to say they never been to the White House. But their name is on the list, on the visitation list. They've been there. But she said in court she never been there. She lied. Like I said, it was just enough information like that that she should have been gone. But yet this spineless judge just let her do it, which at this point right here, he probably ain't going to do nothing about this, even though he told her to stop using the race car and she's constantly doing it. Is he going to do something about it? We shall see. But I doubt he do anything about it because he, like I said, at this point, he it seems like he don't want to jeopardize anything. He don't want to jeopardize his position because he wants to be reelected. So he might just let her get away with this dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they, but they be ready to call out everything Donald Trump does. They ready to call that out. So like I said, it, it, to me, it is just crazy that she can continue to get away with this. So, Let's go ahead and jump straight to it. it said, Willis previously rejected the accusation and said during a speech in January at an Atlanta church that her critics were playing a race card given that they had singled out Wade, who is black, as part of his March 15 ruling. McAfee focused on Willis' January speech and noted that the district attorney described the effort to disqualify her as motivated by playing the race card. On Friday, Willis appeared at the South Fulton Woman of the Sheila Ward where she Said during his speech, it's hard out here always having to prove yourself two or three times. Recently, they tell me that they don't like me talking about race. Well, I'm going to talk about it anyway. Truth is, there are some challenges that come with being black. And I see so much greatness in this city that has so many great African-American leaders. And I appreciate all the sacrifice that you all have had to make to be in these positions. They say in his order, McAfee took issue with Willis' comments that she and Wade were being scrutinized because of their race. Willis later said she was referring to the defendants. However, McAfee said making a distinction was unclear due to Willis' reference to so many others and they in her January speech. They say that John Clifford Floyd, Willis' father, testified in February that Willis was forced to move from her South Fulton home after being harassed and receiving death threats. The South Fulton police brought a man with a dog because there were so many death threats. He said, that they said they was going to blow up the house. They said they was going to hurt her, hurt her and her grandchildren. Once Willis moved, she kept the location of her new home secret from her father due to the threats. He testified. On Friday, Willis also thanked officers to, for keeping her and her family safe. I have put an extra strain on the police department because you have had to take an extra step to make sure we are safe, she said. Over the last three years now, I love this police department like no other. I put a lot of burden on this police department and some of the women that are here today. You have gone out of your way to make sure that me and my girls were safe and that has been very appreciated. In a new court filing on Friday, Trump's attorneys appealed McAfee's decision for Willis to remain on the case, arguing that the trial court erred as a matter of law by not in court, uh, requiring dismissal and D.A. Fannie Willis disqualification. For an appeal to move forward, the Georgia Court of Appeals will have to agree to take up the case. Willis' office also has 10 days to respond to the application, which they may oppose. No trial date has been set in the Georgia criminal case, one of, the f one of four that the former president is facing as he heads toward a likely November rematch with Biden in this year's upcoming presidential election. So there you go right there, y'all. Now... Y'all kind of see exactly what's going on. She's trying to play this race car. She's trying to pander to people to try to get them to vote for her because she know re-election is coming up and she's trying to stay in office. So her thing is now I'm just going to go out, play this race car and pander to people. This is That right there is exactly what she's doing right now. But I'm telling you, that crap there is not going to work. Her credibility is just, is just done. You can't believe this woman. She slipped in court and lied. So how can you believe anything she's saying about Donald Trump when she lied herself? Under oath, that's why she was mad, throwing papers, doing whatever she wanted to do in that courtroom, and Judge McAfee just lets her do it because he's scared. He has no backbone. So uh, to me, it just don't make no sense. So like I said before, there you go, guys. Now you see exactly what I was talking about, how she's constantly playing the race card, trying to pander to people and stuff like that, and just constantly lying. So like I said, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Thank you all for watching, especially the ones that made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.